Hello guys, welcome to MK Mobile. So, you remember Danny. Danny was uh, the owner of this account. Well, you can argue he still is. We are sharing this account. Uh, as you remember, if you're OG, you remember when uh, update, I think 3.0 came and my old account got banned. Uh, Danny basically uh, gave me his own account, said he was gonna move on from Mortal Kombat and wanted me to have it and keep uh, growing it. That's what I've been doing since then. I got a lot of uh, new characters, a lot of new gear. I've been grinding on this account. And uh, today Danny messaged me that he gave me a surprise in this account. He said that he purchased a couple of uh, rain packs from the store. So I can have rain on my account. He said it was a gift, and it was just a, such an amazing surprise. But let's take a look. He was able to even pull classic noob Cybot before he uh, he pulled uh, rain. Because technically, classic noob Cybot is a gold card, so there's a chance to drop classic noob from this pack, which is amazing. Also, I wonder if there's a chance to, to, to drop classic uh, Jade. I know that you can get classic Jade from quests. By the way, the review of classic Jade is coming in a couple hours. She's amazing. Uh, but I wonder if you can get him from uh, from the rain pack. If anybody pulled classic Jade from rain pack, please let me know. I would love to see that. So first of all, he also said he pulled the equipment of rain. So let's check it out. Huge thanks to you, Danny. Huge shout out. You've been huge uh, support for this channel. Let's check it out. Am I blind? I can't find a piece of gear. I'm pretty sure he said he got it. Oh my god, I, need I just needed to restart the game. That was, for some reason, it wasn't showing up. So here are these guys, and uh, let's sort the gear by uh, newest. Okay, here we go. Thunderblade. 30% basic damage boost. Damage boost against enemies affected by dots. Now, is soaked considered a dot? And 50% reduced power cost on special attack too as a weapon. Oh, this is good. This is a decent piece of gear. I like it. It could be definitely worse. All right, uh, let's check out the characters. So we got this classic noob Cybot and MK11 Rain. Fantastic. Now my account is missing only one character, Shang Tsung. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get every single character. Of course, they're all far from being maxed out, but... Oh well, what can you do? I have a few pretty weak MK11 characters, so I, I, I'm sure I can uh, I can come up with a good team for MK11 Rain. Alright, let's take a look. So, uh... Stun on Special 2, Bleed on Special 1. Uh, let's first of all upgrade all his passives. Beautiful, we're gonna get his counter-attack all the way to 10%, lightning damage boost 35, soak duration. Actually, I wanna try him with Raiden, with classic Raiden. That's my first thing that I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try him in a couple different teams right now. And uh, I have a feeling that soon I'll be able to play maxed out Raiden gameplay, because I think Raizo is working on maxing out his Raiden. Uh, I've uh, he, he told me he's buying a bunch of packs. We'll see if he's gonna max him out. That's that's gonna be pretty crazy. So characters affected by soaked are slowed and take more damage from lightning attacks. Somebody in the comments posted uh, about a different bunch of different uh, characters that do lightning attacks, like high tech Jackie Breaks. Uh, who else? I think it was somebody else. I forgot. So maybe this guy will will be able to affect a lot of characters, but unfortunately, all, uh, the uh, recovery boost only works for Raidens. All right, it's it's all good. So uh, I'm gonna put a bunch of level up cards in this guy because there is literally nothing else I can do with these level up cards. Wow, that took a while. We got him to level 50. Uh, all the specials are upgraded. So let's give him some gear. I'm gonna give him his Thunderblade because why not? Also, I want him to have some unblockable chance. So this is gonna go on him. Let's see what gear can complement him. Uh, counter attack. Uh, so he probably. We're gonna test if he can counter attack if he blocks the attack. That's a very important one. So for that, uh, I'm gonna give him something to decrease the unblockable uh, chance of your enemy. Which is... Uh, some uncommon piece. I, I, I can't, can't remember which one. I think I think it's boxer gloves, right? 
Um, Cobra's boxing gloves. Oh no, that was resistant to stun, not to unblockable. Ah, never mind. Unblockable was the Frost Orb, but I don't have it in this account, so... Well, I guess maybe next time. I'm just gonna give him some basic Faction Wars gear, just so, so we can see what he can actually do. Alright, and for for his team, I, I wanna put some my, my weakest MK11 characters first. We're gonna start with MK11 team. So I guess we're gonna go for MK11 Raiden and MK11 Jade. Because they're the weakest, and I'm not gonna give him any gear so he can at least kinda have a chance to compete with them, even though there are two fusions higher. We'll see if uh, that recovery is gonna be noticeable in normal Faction Wars battles, so... I don't know. I'm not using any gear on those two guys. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe I need to put at least an unblockable piece of gear. Anyway, let's review the moves of... Uh, of the rain. Why, why? Did I call him noob? Did I do it again? I don't know why I keep calling rain noob. It's just some s something stuck in my brain. I just can't. Okay, rain. Your rain. Okay, starting with one bar of power cannot be power drained. Beautiful. This is definitely useful. Now we're playing some bleeds. He's soaked now. Let's let's try out the raiding uh, raiding combo ender. Boom! Alright, let's try special 2 now. Okay. We might die right now. Let's counteract and put some soaked. Come on! Okay, special 2, let's do it. He wasn't soaked though. I I I didn't want to risk it though. I He's not doing much damage again because he is so much weaker than the rest of my team, but it's okay. We just want to see what he's all about. I'm gonna try to do Fatal Blow. I want to soak this guy before I do my special 2 of my Raiden. I want to see him completely melt, but first I want, I want him to do some special attacks. Come on, do it to me. Do me special attacks! Okay, good. Uh-oh, this was, this was bad. I'm gonna take out for now. Let's do this. Let's see if we can do Fatal Blow in our first round. I mean, I could I could technically do it. I could just wait outside. Okay, let's see how recovery works. So, let, let Jade take a few hits. Okay, you see how much damage she had. Look at it! Ra Raiden is full already. Hit my Raiden now. Now let's wait for a few minutes. And let's go back to Jade to see what's happening. Is Jade fully healed? She's fully healed! Oh my god! 400% recovery, guys. Works not just in survival. Look at it. She took half of half of her health as damage. First of all, let's do this. Look at the noob! He was freaking down to Revenant! He's already like 30% healed. This is incredible. I knew it. This recovery thing was gonna be amazing. Look at that beautiful combo ender. Did not see him counterattack that much yet. So I I think when you block the hits you cannot counterattack. Oh no, you can. Never mind. Haha! <laughs> Uh-oh. Look at the Jade. Already healed to like 80% from like 50. This is incredible. This recovery. Oh my god. And so now apparently Raiden can miss his special 2 if he is too far away, which is fine. It shouldn't happen very often. Okay, this is so good. I'm so loving this Raiden right now. Even at Fusion 0, he feels like he, he adds to this team. Okay, I need I need to do more soaked stuff. I can't really compare damage with soaked and without soaked because I mean you, you technically can. I can just go into battle modes, take exactly the same battle and try this team with rain and without rain. I might do it for a separate video to actually test out how how effective is soaked. 
But for now, let's complete this quick battle, and then I want to do another quick battle using a uh, Raiden team and see how much uh, classic Raiden's lightning is going to be affected by uh, by having rain on my team. It actually makes sense, you know, rain uh, during rain, lightning probably would strike harder. So it's it's like it's it's the most logical thing in Mortal Kombat. Alright. Let's do special two. She wasn't soaked, I know, but it's still decent damage. Why is the stun so short though? My special is maxed out. Is it because Wait, is fusion of the character does it does it have anything to do with uh Guys, does fusion of the character uh affects the duration of the debuff and special attacks? Let's just do this. She has shield, I don't care. Now, with rain on your team, you want to be taking all the time. Because you want to be using, uh, taking advantage of that recovery. Hmm, Raiden's special 2 is still insane. Oh, wow. I am tense, thank you for noticing. Alright, uh, let's see if we can soak this boy. Alright, let's soak him this way, I guess. Because why not? And now we're gonna do this. And he ticked out, but it's fine. Because technically I should be able... Oh, she snared me, you stupid girl. How dare you. But increased recovery combined with Revenant is so good, you basically get like a resurrection. You can you can get your health pretty high. Oh, survive this. Oh no, she didn't survive. It's fine, it's fine. Impressive. My team is very unbalanced. Uh, unbalanced teams uh, can have very tough time in Faction Wars. Sometimes the matchmaking will just match the entire team to your strongest character and you're gonna get screwed. This happens especially if you're playing diamond teams. If they're not fully maxed out, you will, like, if only one of your diamonds maxed out, you will have a decent chance of facing fully maxed out diamond teams. But since they're pretty low fusion, we shouldn't face any, like, super crazy teams. But there still can be some Im imbalances. All right. Let's let's actually try. I'm I'm just gonna be doing special once to soak my enemies and see how how does raiding raiding special two how much more damage it does. I mean it already does a lot of damage, so I don't know if it needs more, but it's nice to have. Okay. Oh, and it's a grapple actually. His special one is a grapple. That is incredible. Power drain immune boy. How about that? Can't she goes bye bye? Beautiful. Alright, let's actually soak this guy. So we're gonna soak him, and then we're gonna put a lighting on him. Actually, I don't think there is need to- <laughs> Oh my! Look at- What? He is reflecting damage left and right, what the hell? Alright, let's do this. Damn! Get wrecked! Wow, I think he would take him down and even if he was at full health. That is pretty crazy. So you're saying that if I soak well somebody and then they take out and then I do the lightning attack, like for example, Radiant Special 2 on somebody else, 
They both will receive the damage. The character that is tagged out will also receive the same damage. Is that what you're saying? I kind of want to... So... We're gonna test it out right now. I think. I think we can. We're gonna put a uh, classic raid on my team. Just a real, real, really quick test. Let's put classic raid on my team. Not, not Scarlet. Who else? Uh, maybe injustice raid. Let's put classic and injustice raid on my team. I think they're both pretty weak in my collection. So uh, this guy and uh, this guy. Oh, Fusion 7. Oh, <laughs> don't mind if... No, that's that's too much. Let's let's stick to, like... Who else can have light? I'm gonna put MK11 Raiden back, actually. So, I don't need no gear for this. Uh, what I'm gonna test is that... I'm gonna try to soak somebody. And then let him tag out. And then I'm gonna tag with Raiden on a different character. And see if the soaked character... Loses, like, 40% of their health. That should be pretty... Pretty... Pretty epic if it happens. All right, so our goal, first goal is to soak this Johnny Cage. We don't care about power drain, so... Okay, let's do it. All right, let's see. Take out. Actually, wanted to take out now. Bleed and soaked on special one. His special one is insane. And it's a grapple. Whoa, dude. Okay, my strategy just... Okay, I can- no, actually, I think he's still soaked. I still- we can still test it. I don't know- I don't know if it- I don't know if he was soaked. I think the test failed. Mm. Okay, let's try that again. I think it can work. I just need to not let my rain die too fast. Oh look, I'm already calling him Rain. That's a progress. Few more videos like this and no mistakes will be made ever again. <sighs> no! Okay, I'm gonna soak her right now and take out. I'm gonna attack to this guy. Just for a second, and then once Melina takes out, I'm gonna take in with Classic Raiden. Take out. She's stunned. Are you serious? I don't want you to be stunned! Oh my god, this is so stupid. Yes! Oh, double soaked! But you can't stack it though. Okay, now I need I need you to take out. Okay, now we do Ah fine. Doesn't matter. But I'm kinda curious, like does it really affect this lightning? It wasn't anything like super crazy. I notice that it's not 40% every time. I think things like toughness, uh, maybe some talents, some gear can actually affect the damage of, of his lightning. So the only, the only way to test it out is to go to some uh, to a challenge or to a battle mode and test it out against uh, one specific character when you know that it's exactly the same character every time you test it and test it with noob and without noob. Yeah, this video is coming, guys. Definitely coming. Alright, let's do one more time. Now I'm just gonna see if the lightning feels more than 40%. Because even without noob, sometimes Raiden wouldn't hit for the full 40%. He would hit for, like, much less. M much less. <sighs> Alright, last chance for this team to prove itself. Wow, I'm facing a very powerful team, I see. Okay. No problem. I've seen worse. Probably. So this time I'm not gonna try anything fancy. I'm just gonna soak the enemy and then tag with Raiden and see what happens. But so far I'm the most impressed with his special one, which applies bleed and soaked, which is insane for a special one. Uh, and and his recovery boost, that is also very insane. 
And also, people asked if MK11 Raiden would get, uh, like, double recovery because he's Raiden and MK11 character. Honestly, I have no idea. What do you think? Be okay, this time it was definitely more than 40%. Holy moly, that lightning was insane. Okay, let's see. Raiden, take damage. I want you to take damage. Okay, good job, Raiden. You did exactly what I wanted. Ah, stupid piece of garbage. Right, we're finishing this guy with no. Watch this. Boom! This Raiden has no gear, guys. Remember that. Alright. It's all done. So, what do you think about Rain? I'm definitely... I think he's pretty decent. He is not... I, it, he doesn't feel super overpowered. But he also feels like there can be some use from Fusion Zero Rain or Low Fusion Rain. So, I think it, it's a good character. It's not gonna be number one in the game, but it's definitely not gonna be in the end of the tier list. He, he'll be somewhere in a decent position. Maybe together with uh, characters like MK11 Cabal, MK11... who else is good? Scarlet, I want to say. Scarlet is pretty decent. She's fun to play. He's definitely he can definitely be useful in certain scenarios, and he's enjoyable to play. So I would say, it's a very good character to to be added into the game. The only thing I'm concerned about is that I haven't found a single pack in uh, in in the game files with Rain, except the one that we have right now. So it doesn't look like he's gonna be a soul character. There is a chance there's gonna be some other way to get him. Maybe he'll be in um, a faction wars reward or something. But doesn't look like we're getting a souls pack to get this guy. We'll see. We'll see what they're gonna do. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about the MK11 rain. And I'll see you in the next one where we're gonna review MK11 uh, Classic Jade. Goodbye.